Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Elex. As you probably saw, so you probably guessed from reading the video title. Uh, yeah, this is a game by Piranha Bytes, the latest game by Piranha Bytes, creators of the Gothic and Risen series, both of which I played and liked a lot, despite and to some degree because of their their rough edges and flaws. I mean, maybe not so much because of the actual flaws, but I certainly appreciate the well, I don't know. Uh, just to an extent, appreciate the the rough nature of the games. Um, as to my to my knowledge, this is going to be a completely blind let's play, of course, as usual. Uh, to my knowledge, this is very much going to be um, gothic slash risen with a different skin, uh, with a post-apocalyptic uh, mixed with medieval fantasy setting. So that's a little bit new in that regard, um, as we can also glean from the, from the title screen here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I read a comment. I think it was on the Steam page of the game, uh, where where they quoted, uh, or yeah, it was a quote by some kind of reviewer who said that uh, fans of the Gothic and, and Risen series are gonna love this one. So that uh, that's basically all I need to know. I'm fully expecting a number of uh, I don't know rough edges, as I said, but. Uh, I'm sure I will be able to deal with it. Uh, I did uh, do a test recording real quick. I um, adjusted audio settings. I think I'm gonna lower uh, sound effects even more. Music, on the other hand, I'm, I guess it's kind of prominent here on the title screen. I'm not sure how it's gonna be in, in the actual game. Let's see if this works. I hope it's not too bad. Um, back. Video should also be fine. Let's jump into a new game on normal difficulty. Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit, earthquakes shattered its cities, firestorms swept the planet, and as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Alps threatened the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magalan. All right then, Alb commander. Yeah, basically, uh, I actually skipped about uh, skipped over the cutscenes at first, so. This is all news to me. Hmm. Is it just me or do the textures look a little bit... Uh, I don't know. Blurry. Up close. Maybe they're not fully loaded yet. My PC is also not the greatest. Although the settings are uh, all set to high. Setting texture quality. Oh boy. A 
that's not great. So Jax, renowned elf commander. And being an elf means he's devoid of his emotions, but also super powerful. I mean, I, I guess the latter at least is useful for the protagonist of an RPG. Or any game. Although, I mean, this being in the, for all intents and purposes, a gothic game with a different skin, are we gonna... Well, he seems to know what he's doing, maybe? Uh, I was gonna say, are we gonna be we, without memory? Because that's the, the usual trope. Also, screw that helmet, I guess. Who needs equipment? Jax, you failed your mission. Um, you know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. How did these guys, whoever they are, find me so fast? Calyx, huh? Oh, rude. <laughs> At least look. Let the man finish looking around first. So this is how we were stripped of our... Okay, yep, that's probably one of the outlaws, if I had to guess. Stripping us of our equipment. And the fall might have stripped us of our memory and most of our abilities, conveniently. Okay, thanks for not literally stripping me naked, dude. It's appreciated. Yep, and here we are. Okay. So I have seen this, and I'm, I've run around uh, this beginning area here just to get myself acquainted with controls, but for the most part to just see whether, you know, the game would record fine, all you would be okay. Okay, it is a little bit... It looks a little bit dark, although I guess that's mostly because we're literally in dead. in shadow here. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. Right, and our character's weapon... Uh, our character's voice is... Uh, very, very reminiscent of, uh, <laughs> of Vin Diesel as Riddick, for what it's worth. For better or worse, I should say. So that's where we fell from. Why should they come and finish the job? If they if they wanted to make sure we actually died from that, they should have just shot us while we were down here. But fair enough, I guess. So we run around con uh, collecting healing herbs. Okay, uh... Well, first of all, we have a pretty simple UI. We have a radar that shows us something yellow, presumably our next uh, objective. Uh, we have a health bar, obviously, blue, which might be a mana bar. All, as uh, the intro cutscene did mention, magic. So that's going to be a thing eventually. I'll have to learn what what items to look for uh, in terms of. Oh, what? Huh? oh, oh, okay. Sometimes it displays you can climb. Yeah, in terms of uh, plants you can harvest and the like. What are those glowy things? Hmm. This is how you jump. Alright, you can roll. Uh, can you run? Can you sprint? Oh yes, okay. So that's how you sprint. Oops. By clicking uh, the left stick, by the way. Right, you can switch camera angles, or camera distance, rather. I mean, this is immersive, but I do like being able to see at least a little bit behind my character. I could probably see myself playing on the furthest setting, but let's go with the middle. The golden middle. I thought there was another type of herb that I picked during my test recording. This one? Yes, poison leaf. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, I'm, I promise I'm going to leave this this uh, clearing in just a moment. Hmm, okay, that's just blinding light, nothing else. Right, we do have this uh, Pip-Boy kind of uh, menu that pops up above our forearm. Apparently, I don't know, whatever technology that is must be implanted into our arm, actually, because there's clearly no device visible. So we have our stats here. Let's take a quick look at the menu, I guess. I have not looked at this before. Maybe I should have. So we have strength, 
Physical power, melee damage, unlocks items and abilities. Okay, good to know. Uh, constitution, physical conditioning, permanently increases life, unlocks items and abilities. I guess that's going to be true for every stat, probably. Uh, range damage, intelligence, uh, depending on your faction, increases in increasing intelligence permanently increases mana or uh, psi power and unlocks new abilities. Okay. Huh. I think it's the Berserkers uh, who use magic. So Psy power? Would that be the clerics then? Probably. Cunning. Uh, <laughs> influences social skills. Okay, so dialogue options, I guess. For outlaws, it for outlaws it increases uh, cabin capacity. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Here we have our abilities. Previous abilities. Weapons. Okay. Okay. So the rest is. Oh. Oh. We do have them. Oh, a nice map. Okay, we can look, zoom out this far. Alright. Well, game world seems decently large. That looks interesting. Oh, huh, pretty cool, actually. Okay, and that's where we are trying to get. Game doesn't tell us what it is. It's actually appreciated. We have missions. Survive. Sounds good. Magellan is a dangerous place to be alone. Uh, or to be in general, I guess. Elix kept uh, corrupted creatures, reavers, factions, and that's before the fact my own people want me dead. Uh, right, so I have to reach one of the free people's settlements so I can get weapons, equipment, and take stock for what I should do next. Okay. We have healing potions, so that's what I thought. Health plus 40. We have... How much health do we have? Does it say anywhere? A numeric value. Um, if it does, I don't see it. Am I just blind? I don't think so. Also, I see a resource apparently. Elixit. Maybe what we use to level up. I mean, it seems like it. Okay. I'm not. I guess I'm gonna look. In more detail at, at all these okay that's how you move through these tabs okay uh, at, at all these um, available abilities as soon as I can actually level up uh, we have our iron bar so I mean it, it the game does say that we should look for weapons but I guess we do start out with with a weapon oh he likes it it's just money gotcha that makes sense okay but yeah we don't see level one sure Cold, neutral, okay. Down by the, at the bottom there. Cold, I guess, is our status because we don't have warming clothes. Neutral might be our status. Attribute points. Skill. Okay, so there are attribute points, skill points. We don't seem to see our experience as a numerical value, which is fine, I guess. Iron bar. No armor at all. Healing potions. Oh, right, we did pick up these. Poison leaf. Okay, so you can eat uh, healing herbs. Oh, okay, healing herbs and healing plants are different. And smaller wounds can be used in alchemy. Okay, so basically both are the same, except healing herbs are a little bit more valuable. Okay. Um, right. We can equip our iron bar like this from quick items. Okay, yeah, there are two sets of quick items. You can sheath the weapon, but once it's equipped, it stays equipped. We have heavy attack and slightly less heavy attack. Okay. Yeah, and once you're once you start attacking, you're very much locked in position, locked in place. So, in that regard, it's, it does feel a little bit clunky, but again, it's uh, so far it, it really feels very much like, like Risen. Risen slash Gothic. I mean, it really was basically the same game with slightly different theme. Okay. Here it doesn't show the, uh, the X to climb. I must have Prompt. been here for days. The Elixis gone for my sister. Oh. I feel weak. 
Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. Nope. That would have been no. the looter. If Kallax had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is it, Dan. Enemy territory. If Kallax returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Right, so Eden, not to be confused with Eden, which would be a much more pleasant place to be. Mana plant, alright. Oh, I hear it growling. First enemies. Yep, okay. So, can you... Nope, nope, nope. Um, how do you lock on? I guess you don't. Wait. Combine attacks RB and heavy, uh, quick attacks RB and heavy attacks RT to combos. Oh, okay. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. Right. Oop. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. Ten experience. Yeah, I could find something useful in there. Uh huh. Now, do we see our experience? My skin. No. I look like one of the free people. What? There mustn't be a scrap of Elix left in my body. So, yeah, about that. Um, I mean, he says that the Elix is gone from his system, but I guess that causes more like something like with withdrawal effects more than anything else. But he's still stripped of his emotions, I guess, which is interesting. That's actually the case. So he cannot climb up here. As expected. Let me take a quick look, actually, at controller layout. So, quick slots, yep, movement, quick slots, camera, evade, pick up, jump, climb jetpack, right, there's apparently a jetpack at some point, adjutor, apparently the name of our um, heads-up display. Um, right, now melee combat. Oh, okay, so you can parry, right, hold that button. Quick attack, heavy attack, or or heavy attack and slightly less heavy attack. Mm, special moves. Okay. And then we have ranged combat, of course, which I guess I'll take a look at uh, once it, once we actually start. Can we not? Oh, you cannot press B to exit this menu, by the way. And we can also not. Oh, we cannot pick up whatever that is. That red thing there. Auto save, nice. Yeah, oh, so anyway, we'll deal with ranged combat as soon as I actually get a ranged weapon, I suppose. Can climb up here. Not. Hold on to that ledge, I guess. Hmm. Can go here, can go up there. Uh, I thought, at first I thought. Actually, what do I th What did I think? I guess the game wants me to go in there, huh? Examine. Oh. Now we can examine this, I guess because... Oh, uh, okay. So make sure to put your weapon away, or else you can't interact with things. Actually, uh, yes, okay. That makes a lot more sense. So that's just a healing potion. Okay, good to know. I should have figured that out before. Small mental energy reserve. So, mana restore? Looks like a battery, actually. The icon. This is a... porta potty Which I guess we have no use for right now. Hmm, more blinding brightness, obscuring whatever is behind it. I'm gonna take a look in there soon. What is this? Crony U3. U3, one of my crony units. Oh. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Okay, so potential. a half defective tin can. New mission. Hmm, potentially we'll have some kind of robotic ally. Looking forward to that. Hmm, I wonder if we will ever get a, an upgrade to our minimap, to our radar. That shows a little bit ter terrain as well. As, uh, well, map markers. Jumping up, yeah. <laughs> See this? That's uh, 
That's such a typical gothic engine thing where where your character just magnetizes onto a ledge like this from from a certain distance away. Oh, it was perfect before. It just it looked so so funny. Yeah, <laughs> he just almost almost looks a little bit like uh, like he's stretching his arms out, grabbing the ledge and pulling him himself up. I mean, he, he does that. I mean, like, it almost looks like his arms actually, literally stretched like uh, Monkey D. Luffy from, from One Piece. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is just the same area, too. Oh, this is not a plan to harvest. Okay. Yeah, the Gothic and Risen games have trained me to some extent uh, to expect little hidden, uh, hidden bonuses in the beginning area, where there would often be... I don't know, bags of gold and maybe even a slightly better starting weapon lying around in some bushes. Well, you can't climb up here, but there doesn't really seem to be much else except... Oh, oh you can go up here. Uh, okay. Already it feels like I'm not supposed to be up here. Let the... Oh, what was that? Wait, what was that? Tutorial popping up? Oh, 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 oh. Use quick slot. Okay, gotcha. So there's another one of those... Whatchamacallits. Gonna deal with that in just a moment. In fact, yeah, let me find a somewhat safe... Oh, oh. <coughs> yep, so much for a somewhat safe... Wait, oh, that's not a rat at all. It's a runt biter. Target mark. Okay. Oh, I cannot. Now I can dodge. I guess I was out of stamina. Yep. Ooh. I'll try to reactivate my Dark Souls um, training and keep an eye on my stamina. Your health has decreased. Indeed, it has. Your healing potions. Uh, use healing potions to recover. If you're interrupted during consumption, also the healing process stops. That sucks. Unless it also prevents the uh, the potion from from being used up. Oh oh oh! Can I please get up quickly? Oh, okay. I stopped it there. No, oh, you can circle around. Interesting. What? What's it trying to to teach me here? Uh, game, you're not being overly helpful. Okay, I want to wait for it to attack. <laughs> Okay. That worked surprisingly well. Why? What? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know. The game is trying to teach me about combos. I guess uh, attack timing might be a more important factor than I give it credit for. Of course, in in actual combat, it's not going to slow down and give me the button prompts. Oh, also, I need to learn doing this. Adventurous amulet. Okay. That's something. This is clearly not where we're required to go. Water bottle elix. Ooh, sweet. Natural elix received. Um, okay, let's drink a potion, see how much that heals. Oh, a decent amount. And didn't it say it heals 40? So we seem to have about 50 hit points, maybe? Um, yeah. Armor. Adventurous amulet. Um, increases armor value by 5. Wow, that's a surprisingly large amount. Lockpicking plus one, too. Okay. Did find ammo, but not a bow, of course. Mana plants. Oops. Uh, what did we... F oh, right. Half defective tin can. Crony U4, a combat drone, apparently survived the radar crash. How, how do you know that U4 survived? We only know that U3 didn't. He requires repairs, but should make a capable companion... Wait. What? Uh... What did I miss? Mark on the map. Oh, so you can mark one of them, one of them on the map. Dialogue. Yeah, I found U3. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it is still active, then it might be. Then I might find it here. <laughs> okay. But in reality, we already know that it is going to be here somewhere. Also, what is this? Uh, complete missions written. What? Oh, that's uh, texts that we find, documents, recipes, audio logs, and items. Key items, I guess. Okay, cool. 
So mana plant water bottle. Which we can drink. It doesn't say that it's useful for alchemy. Natural elix. Elves commune, uh, consume it for strength and to reach the next level of evolution. Okay. Uh, it can be transformed into other forms or used to power technology. So I guess I don't want to use it now. Resistance, for, resistance frost of all things. Okay. So it doesn't just give you experience or anything. It's kind of what I expected. Um, okay, so you need to be a cleric in order to use this. Interesting. And this does heal 40. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Slowly starting to learn things. This gives us a mana plant. And loops us back to this clearing. Okay. Cool. So that's... I think that's all that was here. Although... Whoa. <laughs> nice. Nice moves. Um, speaking of... Not speaking of which. Because I didn't actually speak about it. But I wanted to look... Oh, okay. So that's where our drone... Either that's where the drone is or whatever we need to repair it. Oh, Chrono U4. It does say so. Okay. Never mind. But let us focus on this first quest first. First things first. Nope. That's the button to zoom out. Oh, sick mass rat. Okay. Cool. Not sure why we want to find that sick rat, but I guess we're going to find out. So yeah, anyway, this little side track gave us uh, the amulet, which sh should help somewhat. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can't salvage this for components, right? I can't repair this. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> nice ashtray. Oh, that's just a normal rat. Can we kill it? Fair enough. And we're still... Okay, it does give experience, so again, kill harmless critters. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Crap. And we're out of stamina. Please give me my stamina back. Okay, thanks for missing. Jesus, heavy attack is really heavy. I should probably try and focus on using... Um, oh, oh! I never looted my enemies, did I? Nope, sure didn't. Yeah, I should probably focus on uh, using light attacks more. Arrow, arrows, iron ore, electronic scrap. Give me that, please. Cultivator bow. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Nice. Now we have a bow. Casket. What is that? Nope. Any? Please slam. Okay. I mean, it's, it doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, that might, though. Can we climb up there? No, that seems a little bit too high for us. Yep, okay. Almost looked like something you could reach. Oh, there's more. Gemstone. Small yellow gemstone. A mug? Sure. Tape? What is this fallout for? Wine received. Well, we're already loading our... Our bags full of useless crap? Question mark? Okay, let me... I feel silly now, but... I definitely want to loot that bird, if it's still there. Oh, not here. Yeah, I, I really need to get used to sheathing my weapon whenever I'm not actually fighting. And the body is... No, it's not gone. Never mind. Yep. Why didn't I see this before? Raw meat. It's a kind of... Ooh, ouch. Oh, wow. That dealt so much damage. Okay. Also, be careful when jumping down things. Which is something you shouldn't be specifically reminded of, but... Oh. Raw meat. I mean, I, I guess I'll wait before I heal. I could eat some of my raw meat or drink the water, eat some of those healing herbs. Oh, it's also really dark in Modern here. Modern technology okay. from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on. Oh, canned food. Well, that's something I might actually want to eat 
right away, because that's probably not going to get any better. But yeah, the other things I could eat, but they're probably going to be, are definitely going to be more efficient when I cook the meat, for example, or turn the herbs into potions, if I can't even do that. Small healing potion? Well, the game is somewhat generous with providing those resources. Electronic scrap. Pick locks. Okay. Uh, I can't sit in this office chair. Ah. <sighs> Okay, uh, how do I get out of this office chair? That's how. Oh, oh and the camera <laughs> resets after a couple of seconds, just to throw me off. Red? Yeah, game, I, I'm pretty sure I don't need to use any combos against... I wonder why it displays that sometimes, but not... Not always. Bones received? Okay. More potions. Shotgun shells. Map piece. Um. Okay. I don't know if this map piece alone is, is supposed to tell me anything useful or if it's gonna combine with more pieces. Also, did not trigger. did not trigger a side quest or something like that. Which I almost expected. Oh! I guess the game begins for real as we step out into the world for the first time. Nice. Chapter 1, The Hunt Begins. Hmm. Okay. It looks pretty cool. I'm here in enemy territory. What was Kallax doing here so far from Zaycor? Yeah. If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Sounds like a plan. You, use the elevator, okay. Uh, how about I look around a bit more first. Grabbing this uh, here. Alexis, oh, that's some, some money. Okay, um, oil lamp. Lamp is broken, but can be sold for three, three bucks, I guess. So yeah, what I found was literally a single coin, okay. Cool. Uh, small mana potion. Okay. I see. And there was a potion here? Oh, yeah. Totally. And some scrap. Alright. Um, what have we found? Picked up a bunch of items. Elevator is somewhere nearby. Map it. Okay, so that's a document. Piece of a larger map. We can take a look at that. Cool. Oops. Campaign of Vengeance. Right. Wait, so this is. Oh, okay. Campaign of. Uh, 360 D pad. My old nemesis. Uh, so this survive and campaign of vengeance are both main missions. Gotcha. And use the elevator is the next step on survive. Makes sense. Companions. Which seems to indicate that there might be more than just this uh, cr this crony drone that we can repair. Yeah, Kallax was waiting for me. Indeed. I mean, do we even know what mission we were on that we apparently failed? I don't think. I don't think the game told us, right? Just said that Jax, the commander, renowned commander of of the Elves, was on a was sent on a super important mission, and then we crashed, and this guy was there and accused us of failing. Right when I crashed. Someone tried to kill me, so maybe the, the ship was sabotaged to begin with. And if they're prepared to go to those lengths, then they won't, sh won't stop until I'm dead. It will be a long way through many ad adversities, but I must find answers. I have to find my old strength if I am to stand a chance against Kallax. Right. Okay. Um, mana potion, yep. Oh, soup. When did I find soup? Liquidized, boiled, and mushed. It's hard to tell what ingredients are in here, and it's probably better that way. Maybe. Okay, this gives us regeneration. Or is that, does it mean 12 health over 12 seconds? Oh yeah, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Canned food is 7 health. Wine is 10 health, surprisingly. A hint of go of uh, go gobberry. Not gooseberry, as I first thought. Gobberry. 
on the nose, followed by a waft of red urine and dishwater. <laughs> Yuck. Okay. Never mind. Let's not drink that. Um, raw meat is one health. Okay, so not worth eating until cooked. Pick lock. Used to pick locks. You don't say. Uh, bones. The earthly remains of, of a creature. Okay, so that's just a low-level trophy. Yeah, it even says so. So, strictly for selling, I guess. Raw material. Um, I can learn how to use them. Pay someone to make things out of them or just sell them. Hmm. I mean, I guess just selling seems like the worst option here. Raw material, very sticky. And a blacksmith could make good use of this. Okay. Junk. Okay, junk is definitely just for selling. Guess it could be valuable. Uh, yeah, I guess it's somewhat valuable. I don't even remember picking this up. But I guess I did. Small yellow gemstone. Gem. Cannot be sold. Oh. Oh. Okay. Weapon penalty enemy resistances. Plus one. Agitor. Bonus resistances. How do you use this? Small yellow gemstone. Yellow gemstone. So, oh, you can turn four yellow gem, four small yellow gemstones into a into a proper yellow gemstone, I guess, which then has three times the effect. Can be combined combined with the adjuter. So, putting that into our forearm device will just give us resistances. Is that worth it? And can I even do that? Uh, I cannot use it, so. I don't know. Cultivator bow. Um, assign quick slot to... I guess that one. Do we have to equip these? I guess not. Okay. LT to aim. Gotcha. And then we... Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh in the bottom left there, it's, uh, it, it gives me several different attack styles, it seems like. I don't want to waste my arrow either. So, can I... Oh, okay, so, if you just let go of LT, it... Um, yeah, does that. How do you switch... Oh, not, not like that. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to give me several different attack types or ammo types in the bottom left, but I don't know how to toggle those. I guess I said that I wanted to take a look at the control layout for ranged combat. Quick slots, toggle quick slots, yeah, okay, so that's the same. Fire switch weapon mode. Oh, I thought I tried that. I guess you can only do that while not aiming. That could you Okay. Again, you you cannot exit out of that com out of that menu with B. Um so you Okay, I guess I just can't toggle attack mode. I'm trying to press it doesn't do anything. Okay. Cool. Um, let's move on then. I know I'm taking my time to an excessive amount, but that's how I play games, so I'm sorry. Camping chair. I mean, I appreciate all the all the chairs standing around offering an opportunity to rest, but uh, I don't think that's very necessary. Although, I guess I didn't try sitting in the chair. And waiting, maybe, maybe that actually does allow you to regenerate health. Evacuation sequence initiated. Um. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observatory. To the what? Observatory? Okay, thanks, computer lady. My jetpack. Oh. Finally, some luck. Where? The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out what my brother Your tried brother. to kill me. Your brother? Oh, okay. What could go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Where's the jetpack? I don't see it at all. Oh, there's my jetpack. Wait, what? Where? Am I blind? Is it supposed to be obvious? <laughs> oh, what? Take oh, oh, that tiny! That was I was looking for something big. I didn't. I totally did not see that there. Well, that's cute. Okay, that must be some technology. Um. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I double tapped X there, and that's what happened. Okay. Up and away, achievement unlocked. I guess you see that probably because I'm using full screen recording mode. Or, uh, actually. Oh. Okay, so you. Oh, you can fly for a surprising amount of time. Interesting. So, how does it work? What's the red on the bar there? Just double tapping activates that immediately. I guess the red bar is because this is damaged and we can repair it so it has its full capacity eventually. That's what I'm guessing. This is also really dark. I mean, it does readjust its brightness. Yeah, I mean, at this point it's almost completely black. Also, it does not adjust the brightness here at all. That is unfortunate. <coughs> but I also don't know if I can do anything about it because I'm. I am in. I guess that's probably why the game gives us torches here. Um, yeah, I'm in borderless window mode, so I can't adjust gamma here, I don't think. Options, video, yeah, I cannot. The first time I started a new game, it uh, asked me to set the brightness. I wonder if that's the same thing that would be gamma here. Yeah, I don't know. I hope that it's really... God, again. I hope that it's really just uh, this dark in areas that are supposed to be dark. Take. Okay. So that you're actually encouraged to use light sources. Was there anything else? If possible, I would like to n not use uh, consumable light sources just yet. Right, that's a chest, actually. Worker pants, yes, please. Small healing potion, always good. Oh, this is actually a toilet. Gotcha. Healing potion. Oh, are those not things I can use? I guess not. How did I miss all of these before? Toilet paper. Can I not... Hello? Game? Oh, okay. Weird. Uh, I could not move the cursor or loot these items before. Why do I want these cigarettes? Incinerated and inhaled. Incin yeah, okay. Seems crazy, but some free people seem to like them. Useful to sell. Gotcha. More toilet paper. I guess it makes sense. Um, there was something I wanted to check. Oh, yeah. We did find some armor. Worker's pants. Three armor. <laughs> I mean, it's just pants, but I guess it's funny how those provide less protection than this amulet. Um, right, toilet paper. <laughs> of course, rough, but it's a trick. Ah, that's the kind of thing you you love. You learn to love. <laughs> or that that you usually love the Gothic and Risen series for. If you love them. Magnesium torches. I mean, I suppose I can probably use them, like here, just in case. Hold on a sec. Okay, um, I hope recording is going again. I have to find a better way to, to actually record this game. Anyway, um, dried meat. Okay, it's better. I guess that's something you can eat right away. Metal scraps. Oh. 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 Hammer? Is that a hammer received, right? Uh, is that a, uh, a weapon? I guess we'll kind of find out in a moment. Magnesium torch. Scraps. Oh. Another potion. <laughs> Cigarettes. And this is just a box or something. Oh, then I see something just now. It's sometimes easy to miss items when you're when you just. I guess maybe that was the open prompt for the slucker. I don't know, or something else. It's sometimes easy to miss items when when uh, there's a very specific angle you have to look at them in order to see the pickup prompt. Um, nope. <laughs> I think I'm getting used to 
um, putting my weapon away whenever I'm done fighting. Itan, oh. the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. Hmm, I mean, they probably don't know you without the helmet, right? So, it should be good. Got a, a whole bunch of torches here. Okay, nothing else. Oh, no. That little climb prompt that keeps popping up for a split second keeps throwing me off. More money, yay. Now we have two monies. Large healing potion. Oh, okay. That seems like a bit overkill -y. A bit of overkill for now. Oh, hello there, person. Yeah, let's be careful, I guess. Is that the guy who's... No, that's not the guy who stole our stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> really? Welcome to Eden. Come on, get up. What? First punch me in the face, then help me up? If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Oh. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Do I? I mean, I guess I... I feel like I was right to be suspicious. <laughs> Proof you're not the thief. I mean, I guess we know, but he was unconscious by the time uh, he was robbed, so he wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't apologize for nothing, asshole. <laughs> uh, that's gothic for you. No, uh, let's be... <laughs> I don't know. Between these two options, let's be less of, of, an, of an asshole ourselves. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. Yeah. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the Rot Wars, you won't live Rot Wars. long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Well, we didn't see anyone. I didn't see any elves. I mean, I'm an elf myself, sure. And a, a couple of days ago, I guess, I, I saw Kallax before he had me shot. But is it really a lie to say that there's no one up there? Because that there, as far as I'm aware, there isn't anyone up there anymore. I'm scared of elves. Yeah, I mean... I guess to say I didn't see any elves is kind of a lie, but not really. I, I mean, I'm just gonna go with the first option. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, oh. and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of Alps. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath. You can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. That is fair enough. Um, what you say is logical, yes? <laughs> Brainwash? Not really, no. Come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. I mean, yeah, that's... I am i haven't decided yet whether I can trust him, although he does seem trustworthy enough. But, yeah, anyway, either way, what, what, he, says, what he says is logical, and why not follow him for now? What you say is logical. 
Logical. Right. Does that mean you're coming? <laughs> Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. <laughs> Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? <laughs> well, not recently. All that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, that sounds good. You'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. I'm going to say probably hunter. Out of those. Mm. You'll train me and give me equipment? Yeah, but I mean, not for free, obviously. You should just take people in. Uh, I mean, they can probably defend themselves if someone turns out to be a troublemaker. And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? I mean, I would like to look around a bit more, but I will eventually come to this Goliath place. Yeah, what if I decided to leave? Just just uh, speaking theoretically here. What if I decided to leave? Then you can go. You can only join one faction, but there will always be ways to explore the world. That's what I do, after all. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory, and you won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the elect to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. Well, uh, that seems pretty much true, yes. Um, I want to find the thief who took my armor, indeed. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I mean, I don't have to join the Berserkers right away. Although, honestly, out of the three factions... I mean... I kind of like the idea of of an outlaw, but they seem like a, more like bandits and, and criminals than than noble rogues to me. <clears throat> the clerics, uh, with their technology, looked interesting, but they seem maybe a bit too lawful and you know just strictly regulated to me. So I, maybe I will ultimately stick with the berserkers. But yeah, just you coming with him to Goliath. And follow me. And if we doesn't mean I join for any right. reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Okay. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some So he's not gonna stop and wait for me, huh? And neither oh, of us wait. Want to Maybe he is. Yeah, rock uh, Sprinting, attacking, evading, cost stamina. Yep. Makes sense. Oh, is he gonna wait for me? Yes, he actually is. Okay, so I can look around. I should probably also. Well, maybe this is a good, uh, a good stopping point for the first episode. I, I mean, I, I know I took my sweet time getting out of that tutorial zone, although there really wasn't all that much tutorialization going on in the first place. It's probably gonna only start only start for real from here. Um, as is the entire game. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna make a cut here. Uh, also to check if audio levels and recording quality are fine and all that stuff. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.